Tried to rain a little bit while ago. Rained a little bit this morning. But anyway. These old clouds are mighty pretty out here this evening. the 20th or whatever day it is. Well, old Garland here. I don't know, it's about October the... October the... Uh, 25th, I think. Well, I broke this whole... whole thing off of here. This whole blade assembly over here about three weeks ago anyway took it over here to Lee and he welded it up so I've had it laying here for about a week here so I finally finally put it back on Oh, well, he, he does pretty good work. He probably wells as, he probably wells better than I ever did. But anyway, I ain't set up, my stuff ain't all set up like it used to be, so. Anyway, I usually get the, he welded the, uh, back in the spring after I got it. I broke the one whole blade off of it here, right across here, and the blade come off with it. And so this time, the whole blade, the whole blade broke clean loose on the other side, and uh, the whole bolt and everything come out of it. Of course, this thing ain't made to cut down a six-inch trees, but. I was trying to do a five inch tree. But anyway, some, some old, uh, some old trees, you can cut cedars and some of that stuff down. And they'll go ahead and, uh, they'll go ahead and cut it off. But you get some harder, some wood's harder than others. And, uh, some wood's harder than others. And, it just takes more of a beating. But anyway, stuff is two and two and three inches with that thing. You can steady go with it. Up in the woods where I like to hunt or sit there. I just more or less go up there for peace of mind. But see, there's a growing road, road up so bad. You can't see nowhere. So, some years ago, I went out with the uh, chainsaw and walked and cut and walked and cut. But this thing here, I can just drive and drive and watch it disappear. Of course, this old skid loader here, I don't know how the camera got back on, but that's an 1840 case. And I looked it up. It's about a 50 horsepower machine. And uh, anyway, it handles that thing. It handles that thing pretty good. Anyway, I don't run it. I don't run it full throttle. I only run it about half throttle. Because so skid loader bounces around so ba bad. Bounces around so bad. I can't control the thing. So I run about half throttle, depends on what I'm doing. Actually, I run faster when I go down the highway than I do any time else. 
<sighs> Old Garland here. 25th of August, I think it is. Well, this uh, whole piece of, this whole thing down here to the fence was full of bales. They've been feeding it. Been feeding here since the, but the last two, well, started feeding it like the two weeks, last two weeks of September. And there's a heck of a hole in here. Anyway, the, uh, they're gone. But anyway, these are only four by four bales. I call them sheep bales. So I was wasting my time hauling the daggone, hauling these daggone four by four bales with this tractor. So I got me an idea. I got me a couple of them other spears. And I put the, another spear on each side. So I wouldn't have to waste so much time going up and down the road. All in the hay. So anyway, instead of hauling two bales down the road, I can at least haul three now. I ought to put me a, I ought to put me a bar across the back and so I can haul two on, two on the back. So anyway, this works pretty good. This tractor here, the hydraulic ain't quite right. So I had a spear with the, with the small tractor, we bought a thing that she had two spears on that thing. So anyway, So this works pretty good. I pick them both up and the devil when they get out the field. You put, put them on the side the other one. And then you can pick them both up and put them on that green wagon. But anyway, it's October, we got our first frost. Yesterday, which was the 23rd. So anyway, it didn't frost this morning, I don't think. But anyway, still there's a lot of beans on the front ground. But anyway, the beans looked all good and high, except the drought done knocked them back off a bad. I don't know how many of these little bales we got sitting around here. I think it's over 600 of them, I think. But they don't go. It takes three of them to make one six by six bale. That's a neighbor's chicken house down there. It's more than 100 yards away from the house. So they got a little net electric fence around it. And the chicken house is on the trailer so they can move it around every couple of days. I guess they don't have to worry about rats as bad that way. They look pretty good, but the, when the daggone drought come along, they got, got a few beans in them, but they're very little. <coughs> well, y'all dad cut another 20 acres down today. This is, I don't know what day it is. Do you see how thin this is? out here but he's cutting it it's gotta be cut it's gotta be cut it's got a load of rock coming in here behind me too crushed concrete he hitting some dirt up there
got it all stirred up. Dad's finally getting a little rock for his driveway project to widen the driveway out here that he uh, started a year ago. I got the culverts in there, but uh, just ain't uh, put the rock in it. Good morning, y'all. October the 29th. And we're getting ready to go make some hay. Even though it's kind of doom and gloom out here, we got to get these rakes ready to go do something today. Hopefully the sun's going to come out. If nothing else, we're going to go flip the hay over. And hopefully the sun will come out and bail it this evening. It's already probably 11 o'clock. So, we're going to go do something. Mm We didn't use this rake because we didn't like it, but we brought it down here to see if it would work again, but the tires blow it out. He's just plowing. That ain't gonna work. Hey 
Howdy, y'all. So we made it back down the road. Dad and Emily are still down there raking. We are looking at the 55 because Dad's done tore up a bunch of stuff on it the last time. And we got a little bit of a fuel leak here somewhere. So it's collected dirt, you know, straw, dirt, hay, moisture, whatever around it. And we're just blowing that off. Blowing off around the injector pump here. Just make sure something ain't going on there more than what it should be. I got the little boy with me. And then dad broke the PTO lever clean off. I guess a bolt or something came out of it. Whatever holds that together came out. So I had to put a new bolt in that. So I'm going to blow the radiator out in here and see what else we can find. I think I need some hydraulic oil. Well, it turns out to be a hydraulic leak, but we cleaned the radiator out, put, filled it up with hydraulic fluid, and uh, fixed the PTO lever, and we're going to go see if it works. They ought to be done raking hay by now, as long as it took me to get this thing to go. I got Harvester with me. We're gonna give him back to mama when we get down there. Old girl in here. Right here on Sunday raking hay. I think it's October the 28th, I think. I cut this down Monday or Tuesday. It rained a little bit last night. Anyway, I brought this old rake out. These old big wheel rakes, when you get down second cuttings and the stuff is real short, they'll get they'll they'll pick up the hay better than a roll bar rake will. Anyway, this old rake I went and bought at an auction a couple years ago. I don't know, two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars or something or another. I've only used it a couple times, but actually it'll work. Provided you got a a straight a straight field and fairly level, you go alongside the hill, the sucker runs down the hill away from you. So anyway, I got it out yesterday, and right now back there's all the way on the back has got a flat tire on it. I could turn around and make wider wind rows, a wider swath, but I got adjusted so that it's not, it's not as steep because the uh, because of that flat tire back there. But anyway, Jay Bear came down here with two rakes earlier, two roller bar rakes. And my daughter-in-law, Emily, she's over here raking with the old D D-17. Anyway, I guess, the, I guess you could say, I guess we're getting it done, I guess. Anyway, the sunshine's pretty good now. Took a long time to get started this morning. <coughs> So 
to get get rid of these fields that's farther away from home, and then uh, I got another 20, 21 acres or whatever it is up there cut down along the road. So I guess the weather's half nice. I get it all done this week, I guess. I hope. Well, we got 27 bales off the field. Always pretty skies over here in the green grass. Now we're gonna run up the road, see what Dad's doing on the next field. And if I got 27 out of this field, there's no way I'm gonna get 27 out of the next field, even though the next field is bigger. But that's what we're doing. You gotta pick up my pickup. down again. Oh crazy Mennonite neighbors. Catch y'all later. Make sure you subscribe.